Another pretty day today. It's gonna warm up into the 40s. I think high 40s, mid to high 40s. We melt some more of this snow. I've always had this thing when I was a kid, even and now, that I don't like it when the snow gets messed up. You know, you want that pretty layer of snow like this over here. But then, you know, things happen and you mess it up like the hose or of course you got a path that's got to walk down to the chickens and uh, I don't know just gets messed up and I hate that but to make matters worse <laughs> we had deers last night it, and a ton of them everywhere I look is deer tracks somewhere or another I guess there was a bunch of them out here but I mean you can see that this one uh, came up walked around to the cedar tree here and then turned around and came back back around so and it's like that everywhere it's just everywhere I look like oh look deer tracks deer tracks deer tracks the chickens are out in the coop today are out in the run after I got that all shoveled out yesterday and new tarp put on I won't let them out I usually let them out for about 15 minutes a day but I'm not gonna let them out I don't want their feet to get frostbitten in the snow. Carolyn had a chicken that lost a foot years ago. I think she called him Wobbles or something, I forget. We don't want to have a chicken lose a foot. So, even though they'll want to come out, I'm not going to let them out. So, but I have been feeding them corn to keep them warm, help them keep them warm. But the temperatures are going up quite a bit. Our cold snaps this year has not been that bad. So I wanted to talk to you a bit about a subject that I covered months ago, probably like in November. And it, it, at the time, nobody seemed to care. But I told you back in November that there was a company here in Missouri, natural gas company called Spire. Their pipeline was being shut down. Now I didn't know all the details because it was hard to find any information on it. It was only being covered by local news. Apparently Trump administration approved this pipeline but turns out that the inspection done on the pipeline was not correct so then the new administration came in shut them down well then it went through the courts and the court said no it is an illegal pipeline so they shut them down well Spire said if there is a cold snap in Missouri that they'll have to raise prices I felt like that was something that we needed to take seriously, that this was going to be a problem. So I made a video about it, and sure enough, I mean, people were saying, oh, that's bull, there's no pipeline shut down in Missouri. But it was like a 70 miles pipeline from, you know, St. Louis or something to Illinois. I mean, I don't know, understand all the logistics. Like I said, there wasn't a lot of information about it. So nobody took it seriously. And I think even a lot of politicians, a lot of politicians says, oh, Spire's just trying to fear monger, trying to get their pipeline. This is ridiculous. They'll have plenty of natural gas. The other day, one of my subscribers, has, I think his name's Shadow, like 1950 something, 56. I think that's his screen name. He said, well, you're right. Our gas prices went up. And I thought he lived in Missouri. So I questioned, I replied, Missouri? Question mark. He's, he said, yeah. He said it went up 65%. Well, as you know, I run another YouTube channel. It's a comedy channel about the news. So I happened to run across an article about Spire. Again, just yesterday or day before yesterday. And they raised the gas prices, according to the article, from 40 cents to 79 cents. So that's 50%. So the subscriber said 65%. I mean, I, the article might be trying to stretch the numbers. I would be more inclined to believe the subscriber than the article but sure enough he was you know I was able to confirm that Spire raised the prices and it's exactly what happened they were not able to easily get gas to their location so they they're in short supply so they had to raise the prices they get it trucked in and you know just whatever I don't I, like I said details are very limited back in november i was trying to suggest that folks pay attention to what's going on i mean when you were reading about europe all year they're saying that they don't have enough natural gas prices are going up 
and then Biden's promising that we'll send natural gas over to them, that we got plenty. Well, I don't know how we have plenty. Our prices are going up too. The jets are flying. I know you're not gonna be able to see it, but man, those are those are awesome. I forget what they're called, but the, it's the Air Force. There's another one. Let's see if we can see it. There it is. They fly right over the house. Carolyn said they're Carolyn always says they're flirting with her. She'll be outside when they're flying over the house. Yeah, they're trying. To, I always say no, they're trying to target us. <laughs> but it is neat to watch. The other thing that happened recently is a lot of different areas lost power. I mean, all through the country, they lost power because of the snowstorm. Everywhere is talking about losing power. You warn people and you try to explain how to do things and and then you hear these kind of things like, man, I mean, I, I, I really want to help folks, but it's like they're not paying attention. So the other day I made a video where I was talking about, well, sometimes you just gotta not worry about folks. You give them the information the best you can. And if they don't take the information, well, that's not really our problem because I see these preppers all the time saying that, uh, you know, they're just not paying attention and yelling and screaming at the screen. Like if they yell loud enough, the folks that don't want to think about the reality of what could happen, will listen if they yell loud enough. And I said, just let them go. But I do try to teach folks how to, how to do this stuff. The other day I made a video about the fireplace, showed you how to light a fireplace. And it is, <laughs> funny enough, the best video I've made in months. The day before I made a video just walking around in the snow and it was the best video I made. Well, this one topped it. It was a pretty educational video. Here's the thing. Everything I have done is not that complicated. And if you say I can't do it, then to me, it's just an excuse because I can do it. And I had no experience doing anything. I don't have any special skills. So when I built the tiny house, every step of it, I was looking things up, how to build a roof. Dad sent me a engineering drawing on how to build the, the trusses. You know, we bought it online, he bought it. And I mean, it wasn't that expensive. It was just, he, he knew what he was looking for. So he, he bought it and sent it to me. I built the trusses to the specifications. The wood stove really did have me scared. I had the whole house built and then I had to cut a hole in the roof to run a chimney. It was terrifying. But I watched you and with the today's technology of YouTube and Google, there's no excuse to not being able to do anything. And there are people who detail how to install a wood stove. Or and wood stoves, you know, it might be price prohibitive to some. But how long can you afford a 50% increase on your natural gas price? I hear it all the time. Well, it takes money to make money. Well, I, I don't make any money. I've said this so many times. I don't make any money. I'm, I'm very poor. <laughs> I just stop spending money. And that's key. I can buy what I want because I don't spend anything. I just don't buy anything. So when I want to build a tiny house, I've got the cash to do it. If I want to buy a stove, I got the cash to do it. Thing is, is we bought our stove if you just look around and stay patient, be patient. We bought our stove used, it was used twice. And I really do believe the guy, when he said it was used twice, I mean, it was in mint condition, very clean, but it was just the wrong size for what he needed. He wanted a bigger one. So he put it back in the crate that it came in and we bought it for half price. So the stove was $600 and we bought it for 300. And then you buy the chimney material. The triple wall, I think, was $100 for the, the pieces up there, what you see up there. That whole assembly, all the way down to the ceiling of the house. So it was a little bit pricier than I expected. Of course, we bought the metal for behind the stove. Uh, those are probably $15 a sheet. And then the firewood. And here's the thing. Right now, Missouri's paying an extremely high amount for gas, natural gas. I'll hear people say, I can't get firewood. I don't have any trees, I don't have any firewood. Well, buy it. You, you buy a truckload, two, 75 bucks. Let's call it 75 bucks, but buy a truckload. That truckload 
might get you through two a month or two months it's still gonna be a lot cheaper than your natural gas price and then over time you can start collecting firewood and I saw another youtuber said this it made a lot of sense you don't see natural gas laying or propane laying on the ground anywhere where you can just go pick it up but like over here there's a limb down you can go over there and pick up that limb you can drive up and down the road you know 10 15 miles and you'll find limbs all over the place just stop and pick them up throw them back to your truck you can find firewood now what I don't recommend but would understand if you had to do it is pallets you can pick up pallets everywhere uh, this youtuber was talking about a hacksaw and you know a little saw go get yourself a saw and some pallet pallets now these stoves you're not supposed to burn pine I agree you're not supposed to burn pine but if you clean your chimney every week or two you should be fine it's not going to burn very efficiently but it's going to give you some heat and that would be free compared to the natural gas prices we have a little buddy heater that we use as a backup heater so on like really warm days like today it might get a little chilly in there and i'll start that little buddy heater for 15 minutes just to kind of knock the chill off because it would be way too much heat if we used a wood stove on a day like this so you could get yourself a little propane heater set yourself up in one room and just live in a room when i was with my ex-wife in the winter time we would sleep on the, the hide a bed you know hit into the couch and we'd sleep in the in the living room that way we didn't have to heat our bedroom so there's things you can do to reduce your cost but if you'll check out that other channel I would really appreciate it got some humor with the news so I hope I can inspire you to cut cost so you can live your dream thanks for watching